we've just seen that blood from the body will get into the right atrium. Contraction will take place. It will get into the right ventricle and then will move out of the heart through the pulmonary artery. Now, once the blood moves towards the lungs, the blood will lose oxygen, will lose carbon dioxide and then gain oxygen. And the blood will need to come back to the heart. The oxygenated blood, oxygenated blood will get into the left atrium. Remember, I said generally the atria are for receiving blood. Right atrium will be for deoxygenated blood. Left atrium will be for oxygenated blood. Now, a contraction will take place. The blood will then flow to the left ventricle. Contraction will take place and then the blood will be forced into or will be forced out of the heart through the outer so through the pulmonary artery, the blood gets to the lungs. Through the outer, the blood gets to the rest of the body.